So here we have something special today. This is the 2005 Chateau Ponte Canet. 2005, arguably the best vintage in Bordeaux, <laughs> maybe ever. This Chateau Ponte Canet is a, a fifth growth wine that just far exceeds its fifth growth status. And so we wanna see how this is aging right now. And we're gonna be careful with the cork here because it's a little bit older. So Chateau Ponte Canet, northern end of, of Poyac, and it is a wine where the winery is located literally right across the street from Chateau Mouton Rothschild. So it kind of makes sense. There we go. Uh, why the quality is what it is for this wine. Vintage after vintage, they just produce these beautifully structured, balanced, powerful, ageable wines. The uh, vineyard is, is mostly gravel, sits over clay and limestone. It's biodynamic, it's organic certified, it's, it's EcoCert certified, it's Demeter certified. And one of the coolest things that they do is they <laughs> do not use tractors uh, for any of the work in the vineyards. They use horses. So they had a fleet of 12 horses, handles all the work, um, and the, uh, the blend and the vineyards that they, they plant are, it's really consistent every year. They're usually about 60, 65% Cabernet Sauvignon, about 30 Merlot, and then you know, a blend of the other varietals for the rest. Uh, their aging uh, plan is different than really anybody around. So they use French oak barrels, uh, about 50% new. They use about 15% one-year-old barrels. And, uh, and then they use like anywhere from 35% or so uh, in those uh, concrete amphorae, the dolia. Uh, it's a really high percentage uh, of concrete vats. And in talking with the owners uh, and the winemakers, they just say they want to keep that freshness uh, of that wine. They want the, the grapes and the vineyard to be what comes first. Um, and that's why they use such a, such a large percentage of concrete. And man, <laughs> thank goodness they do because you could tell in the wine here. I mean, color, so this is 2005. So we got a good amount of bottle age here, right? 18 years. So it's still ruby, making a little of that garnet on the edge, right? A little bit of a uh, little brown on the rim, but still nice ruby color. Mm. And it is a fruit first, fruit forward wine still at this age, right? Sometimes wines, when they have this kind of bottle age, it can be all that tobacco and earthy and mushroom and leather come first. This is still fruit first. Blackberry, um, cream de cassis. Uh, mm. Black currant, blueberry. Uh, you know, it's a, getting a little on the dried side, but it's still, you know, fresh, fresh fruit first. Graphite, really, you know, classic of these Ponte Canet wines, that lead pencil shaving. Mm. And you're starting to get a little bit of that kind of cedary, tobacco, earthy underbrush, but it's, but it's adding just this beautiful hint to it. And it is certainly on the uh, layer after that fruit and that spice from the oak. Nice, really nice clove notes too. It is just a beautifully intense wine. Let's give it a taste. Oh my God. I, I, I just love the way these wines age. So it's still, you know, <laughs> mouth filling. Tannins are still firm, uh, not as chewy as they were, you know, <laughs> 12 years ago. Um, that tobacco and that cedar and those spice and those kind of potpourri notes coming through on the palate here. It's, it's medium body, right? This is not a big, opulent, powerful wine, but the structure is there. The, the density is there. Um, the masculinity of the wine is there, but the, the fresh fruit component, um, the beautiful acidity that's holding this all together, balancing out lovely with those, mm those sort of tannins that are just lingering on the mouth. This is something that would go beautiful right now, you know, with like a uh, roast, uh, a roast dish, some kind of meat. Uh, certainly, certainly still a big wine. Certainly tannins are still uh, uh, powerful enough for that. If you have an opportunity to grab some of this 2005, we only have uh, a little bit of it left. So uh, I can't recommend it enough because as we talked about, it's a fifth growth, 
drinking like a first growth wine, and these first growth wines can run in the four figures. So uh, at the price we have these Ponte Canades, it's, uh, it's really a true value. So hope you enjoy. Cheers. Salud. Thank you.